What's up everyone and welcome to the next episode in the Can I series, Couples Edition. Hello. So me and Lauren are going to go out and we're going to get £14 worth of stuff each for the week. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. That's 21 meals over the course of seven days, not including snacks and drinks. It's going to be very fun. I'm going to upload these videos daily. And yeah, we're going to go get the stuff now. Then I'm going to show you what we've got. Well, what we've got, not what you've got. <laughs> so let's go, guys. Right, so guys, we are back from the shop. It is Monday of recording this, and we're not starting this challenge until tomorrow. But Lauren does have work. And there's also, we were going to show receipts, but there's so many receipts because we went to, there's like four different shops. Um, whether that's including Asda or not, I'm not sure. And we've had, obviously, if anyone's watched the vlogs, you know we have a child as well. So we had to buy him stuff because he's not doing the challenge it's not going to work but 14 pound or less for a week seven days that's 21 meals which we haven't got milk we haven't got you know dinners for every day we have to make do with what we got but yeah so that's what we're gonna do it's gonna be challenging and now i'm gonna hand it over to lauren to show what she has bought the prices and what shops and stuff like that and then it'll be my turn okay so i have Malted Wheaties from Asda, they were 83p. Um, I have tea bags, can't go down that tea, and they were 60p from Tesco. Um, malted milk to go with the tea, they were 29p from Lidl. Uh, and then I have sugar, can't have tea without sugar, that was 50p from Sainsbury's, luckily I only need a small one. Um, these are from Asda, they were 39p, um, which is quite a good deal, I can have them for dinners or lunch at work or something like that. And then I balance my lunches out at work, so I have the main and then I have some fruit, so I've got some... Scarlet apples, they were 89p from Lidl. So they'll do. Then I've got a six pack of crisps uh, for 90p in Sainsbury's. So is it there? 90p in Sainsbury's. Um, then I've got a bit of chocolate as a treat. Um, five bars of 12, so 77p in uh, Lidl. So got those. Um, have bread. For 49p in Lidl as well, so that's pretty good. I can have beans on toast or sandwiches or something like that for dinner or work. Um, so I've got a tin of beans in Lidl, 22p, um, and I've got a tin of spaghetti loops in Lidl as well, they were 13p. Um, and then I decided after I was out of the shop that I'd need another tin of beans, so these were 25p in Tesco. So, those, um, can't go a week without mayonnaise, so I had to buy a 40p mayonnaise from Tesco, that'll go on my jacket potato or my pasta or something like that. Um, I've got 45p tin of tomato soup from Asda, um, butter of course to go with my bread and my crackers and stuff, that was a pound in Sainsbury's. Uh, and then I've got two bags of rice. I can have rice and beans or rice and mayonnaise, to be fair, I'm not quite fast. <laughs> so that was 40p each from Tesco. I have some potatoes from Asda. They're about 45p, I think. Uh, I could do jacket potato or I could make chips or wedges or something like that. Um, and then I have pasta, 30p from Tesco, so as I said, I can have that of mayonnaise, um, beans, whatever, or just with cheese. Um, another little treat, so I've got Galaxy Hot Chocolate, 35p from Tesco. Uh, and then I've got juice for work, um, that was 85p from Sainsbury's. And then I've got Creamfields um, cheese, £1.5. Um, I prefer the slices, then I ain't got to cut it. Uh, £1.5 from Tesco, and then pizza. 
So I was going to get one big pizza for a pound, but then I thought, why not? These were down to a pound in Iceland. So I thought that does two days dinner. So that's that. And that's it. I think it all came to about £13.88 or something like that. So pretty good. All right, guys. You've seen Lauren's. Now it's my turn. And just to rectify, uh, Lauren didn't come to the total that she said just because we forgot we haven't bought milk yet. Milk is £1 from our local co-op. So just bear that in mind, whatever the total is, add a pound to it because we're going to get milk later on. All right, so me, I have some hopeless bread. There's 99p from Lidl's. I've got a fresh baguette from Lidl. It's only a small one, 22p. I'm hoping I remember all these prices. Ham from Lidl. Pretty sure it was 79p. Was it? Don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's 79p. You can always look it up and rectify me. If I'm not sure about prices, it'll be on, on the screen. I'll find it and put it on the screen. I was getting too stressed about mine, never mind thinking about yours. <laughs> now, I recommend these. Nice double toffee dessert from Lidl. 49p. I remember that one. You might you might think I haven't actually I've got like one proper dinner here. Maybe two. But it's, it's fine. We're good. Four bacon potatoes, so I can make some other chips or wedges or something, or whatever I want with them really. Um, from Tesco, they were 45p. Got some sugar from Lidl, 65p. And that's going to come in handy with what I'm going to show next. If I can get to it. Big box of cornflakes from Lidl. Can't remember how much they were. 55p I'm pretty sure, but like I said, it'll be on the screen if I don't remember. We're doing this 100% legit and I'll make sure the prices are good. So, doesn't make sense, but there you go. Stockwell coffee from Tesco, 80p. And I like expensive coffee, so that's going to be a nice challenge in itself. Baked beans from Little, 22p. I didn't get any crisps, but I'm, I'm hoping these will last me a couple of days for just one little snack. And I can I could, I could even um, melt some cheese on them because I, I do have cheese as well. Um, from Lidl, I think they were about forty five p. Butter from Sainsbury's, same as Lauren, one pound. And then we noticed it was cheaper by thirty p in Tesco. But I mean, some prices aren't online because we have a Tesco Express. <laughs> we have a Tesco Express, and all the prices online are for a normal Tesco, so it's not always what we think it is. Cheese from Lidl, £1.79. I never forget that because I love cheese. Packet of malted milks, same as Lauren because it was cheap. 20, how much? 29. 29p, I was going to say 22, I was lucky. Also got some of them for Marshall as well, but like I said, he's four, he can't take can take on the challenge, especially he's got school and stuff. He's a growing boy, so he's got proper stuff to eat. <laughs> While we're doing this budget, like I said, the Can I series is all about putting our feet in other people's shoes just to experience what it's like even though my next challenge after we finish with this one might seem a bit it's, i'm going to be in, indulging in the next challenge for that way it's not really a challenge you figure it out you figure it out no you'll find out day seven ginger nuts from Lidl. 29p are they 29p mm -hmm. well there you go i hate ginger nuts they're nice, man. It's good for IBS as well. If you've got IBS, ginger is good. I don't know about ginger biscuits, but... I've got six eggs. Again, from Lidl's. Most of my stuff is from Lidl. They were... Uh, either 79p or 80p. It'd be on the screen. I've got the receipts, so it'd be easier. I don't have to look it up. I can just check my receipts and put it on the screen, so it's easier. Two very cheap chocolate bars from Lidl. 30 pence each. And they're quite heavy, and I'm kind of worried with the fat content in there, but that should hopefully last a few days, half a block a day or something. A kilo of pasta, again, from Lidl, 90p. Now, if that's not a deal, I don't know what is. Go on for 30p. Yeah, but I don't like penne. I like fuse. Is it fusely? Or fusilili? Whatever the hell it's called, I don't know. And then our I think the second main dinner thing we've got, pizza from Iceland. Day was day, pound. And I like to put extra cheese on it. I have a whole block. And then the final thing. Mm -hmm. 
That's mine, bitch. Get your own. <laughs> Yours are there. Oh, yeah. These are mine. <laughs> We've got the same tea bags because, yes, I love coffee, but I don't know if I could drink it all day, every day. I need tea sometimes, too. Tea bags, and I think that is it for my stuff. And then I worked out take <clears> off <throat> milk as well, which is a pound from alcohol, like I said. I think I had 13 pence left. So I've got a lovely refresher for 10p. Because why not? They're actually my favourite sweet. Well, my second favourite. I like Harry Bob, but I didn't have enough. So yeah, 10 pence. 3p left, if I worked it out correctly. Of course, it'll be on the screen if we are 100% correct with our pricing. And if it is, £14 or less each. If it is, then great. We can keep everything we got. And yeah, guys, it's going to be a very interesting week but i'm not going to say we're going to fail and not be able to do it because at the end of the day if we feel like we're struggling we just think about others who have to do this on a daily basis for god knows how many years or months or whatever so we are going to do it guys and that's it for now it's going to cut straight to tomorrow which is tuesday when the challenge begins and we'll show not every single time that we have breakfast lunch and dinner because a lot of times we're going to be having the same thing like tuesday wednesday i could have the same sandwiches for lunch and laura might have the same thing with what she's got crackers and cheese or something but we'll show everything that's different that we haven't shown before so let's get straight to it cut to tuesday for breakfast you'll be having breakfast won't you maybe mm. if you're going to work later mm. let's go yeah okay so it's day one of the challenge for me um i've got my Stockwell's Tesco um, tea bags and my 50p Sainsbury sugar. So let's give it a try. Mmm, not bad to be fair. Tastes a bit milky, a bit on the weak side, but then I don't mind that, so that's good. There we go. So if I haven't got anything else, at least I can fill up on tea for the week. Day one, starting off with a coffee. You might be able to hear my son in the background. You're going to hear a lot of him during the week. I'm not a fan of cheap coffee. I prefer expensive, but, you know, we've got to do it, so let's try. Well, shit, that's actually really nice. <laughs> I might have to convert to cheap coffee. It's actually really good. It's nice and strong and smooth. There we go. See with the next thing I'll try. I might skip breakfast. I don't always have it. Right, so there might be a lot of commotion you hear in the background of these videos because me and Lauren are both recording from our own phones and then she'll be transferring it for me to edit and stuff. And obviously you can hear Marshall in the background. Which, you know, there's no point telling them to be quiet because it's going to be all different times of days plus the weekend that we do this and obviously he's going to be here. And not at school all the time. But I have cornflakes. I've put a sprinkle of sugar on. Now I haven't had cornflakes in years. I don't even, won't even focus. Oh. But these are like 50p or something. Or 40 I don't know how much I can't remember. But They taste plain, but they taste very close to the expensive cornflakes. So, yeah, yeah, I can do, I can do all that. That's fine, absolutely fine by me. A bit of sugar on top. More. I've just got to make sure we don't run out of milk because we just opened it and we've got to do this for seven days. So I'm not going to have breakfast, but I have a bad headache. I'd rather eat before taking any tablets for that. But nice. See you at lunchtime. Okay, so breakfast time, <clears throat> got malted Wheaties and milk, may have underestimated how much milk I'm going to be using during the week, but just going to have to go easy on it. Okay. Not bad, quite nice actually. Um, I think they taste really nice mushed up with the milk, so winner there. I'm not going to lie, I feel kind of hungry. And it's only half nine in the morning. <laughs> you know, getting up at half six, between half six and half seven in the morning. 
I usually have a couple cups of coffee instead of breakfast. I don't have breakfast all the time. But this morning, it was the earliest I've had breakfast. And obviously, like I said, I had to have it because I needed to, to take tablets because I had a really bad migraine. Which is gone now, thank God. Um, but yeah, cornflakes were alright. They went down a treat. Not bad. <clears throat> Next time I'll put a bit more sugar on. <laughs> Getting hungry now. It's about half two in the afternoon. I know it's past lunchtime, but I've been busy recording other content. And I want my lunch now. I can have dinner whenever I want because we've got separate things. Which is good, I suppose, in a way. Um, yeah, I've been busy recording. Recording what you might ask. Oh, hey! Content from my gaming channel, boys. Check it out. Link will be in the description below. Just the Gamer. I've got over 300 uploads. Mostly streams. Check it out. I've got Final Fantasy stuff on it and a lot of Resident Evil content. I'm going to be plugging this in every single episode because, you know, I want to reach new eyes on my gaming channel. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subs this year. Is it too high of a goal? Maybe, but I like to stretch out a far goal that seems unlikely to reach to push and make me work harder and motivate me more. So that's what I'm doing. So there we go, guys. I'm now going to... I think I'm going to have my baguette. Because it's small and it's it, it was from um, the bakery part of Lidl. 22p, remember, for the baguette. I'm going to have that, I think. Maybe with some ham and cheese. Yummy. All right. Ham, cheese, baguette. This is very tiny. I've got to cut it in half. I've had it both. Mm. Oh, it's good. The cheese is really good and mature. You can taste like the honey and the ham. It gets a little bit chewy, but 22 people would expect. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. And I got my first cup of tea. Stock well. Let's give that a try. Yeah, not bad. Hot drinks, baguette. I'm happy. Okay, so I've just got home from work. Um, I wasn't entitled to a lunch break today because I only worked five hours. Tomorrow I'm doing ten, so I will. So I'm just having some crisps. I had my cereal this morning, just had a cup of tea. Right. And I'm just having my Sainsbury's cheap crisps. Just gone six o'clock in the evening. <clears throat> and I'm hungry again, so it's time for some dinner. And also, as you know, I haven't got much for dinner. I've got this toast. I could have an omelette one day, pasta a couple of days as well, a pizza. And then I've got these, which I was going to use for chips, but I'm going to use one of these, and I'm going to have a jack of potato. Um, so one potato I'm going to use because I don't know how many I'm going to need for like chips or wedges or whatever I do. So obviously we have a deep fat fryer, but I said to Lauren, I said, it's probably not, it's probably cheating if we have chips in that because we didn't buy the oil because it wouldn't be in our budget. So I said, we would have to use just the oven because we didn't buy the oil. So when I do make chips or something, I'll probably boil them, get them a bit softer and then do them in the oven. So hopefully get a crisp on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Hopefully, and I don't know how many spuds it's going to take. Maybe just a couple. So, you know what? Then, okay, okay, fine. I'm going to have two jack potatoes then because I've got a whole tin of beans. I hope they're nice because uh, they cost 22p, but most beans taste the same, don't they? Then I could have a sprinkle of cheese on it or something. Sprinkle some salt and pepper because you're allowed condiments. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. And voila, there we have it guys. Two potatoes with butter. Um, nearly a full tin of beans. But I've left some in there for my son to have with his dinner. Got some cheese on there. Mm. Yummy, let's get to eating. I didn't season it with salt and pepper because I forgot. But hopefully this should be enough. Fingers crossed. Oh, and it took 14 minutes. Seven for each potato. So I've been patiently waiting. Now I'm going to eat before it gets cold. 
Actually, no, I should try some on camera first, shouldn't I? As a taste test, because these are cheap potatoes. Right, I've got potato there, some butter, and some beans, and some cheese. Taste test. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I can't cut this off. This is a big bit. This is, oh god, it's got beans everywhere. Big bit of potato. Oh my god. Four potatoes, cheap. Like 40 something p. 49p, I think. Beans, 22p. Cheese, 179. So for less than 250, what a great meal. Tastes amazing. I'm going to enjoy this now while it's hot. Okay, so I only had a packet of crisps for lunch. Um, so here's my dinner. Can't really see it. I've got rice and beans. Um, so let's see how it goes. Sorry about the towel, just had a shout. <laughs> Well, I like rice dinners and I like beans, so. Not bad. Definitely prefer Uncle Ben's rice to this, but um, because this you can taste like the plasticky packety. But yeah, it will do. Here we go, guys. Polish that off, and I'm very full and very satisfied. Too bad I didn't get more potatoes because I enjoyed that. I mean, I could have it again, but I've got enough beans now. But I'm definitely, in the future, I'm going to have that as part of my actual dinners every couple of weeks or so. 100% from me. Hey, okay. Right, guys, dinner's over. I'm going to fancy having something sweet. So I'm going to have a few, I'll probably have about half a bar. Because if I have half a bar, I've got two of these, so that's four days. If I need sweet stuff. No? They're quite sickly, I think. <clears throat> so I'm going to crack this open. I'm going to give it a taste. Because I've never had this. I've had a cheap bar for, before from Asda. A long time ago. But I've never had the really cheap ones from Lidl. So let's have a taste. Also, I have updated on my community post. But I apologise that these videos are a week late. But then that's better. Because then uh, that means when you're watching this one, the rest is recorded. Ready to go up every day at, this, at whatever time you see on the community post. Probably... Since they're already pre-recorded, I would say 7, 8 o'clock GMT. So anyway, the squares are huge, guys. Look at that. And it actually smells like Milky Bar. I doubt it's going to taste like one, though. Very creamy and milky. Not that you can see me now. This Lauren's phone. Creamy and milky. Creamy and milky. Obviously not as good as a milky bar. But still really good. Probably because of the stuff that's in it. That's why I'm not having a whole bar. But very good for me. So there we go, guys. End of day one. Thoughts on the first day. Not too bad, to be honest. But it's only going to get harder the more food we run out of. I have to think about what we're having and stuff like that. But not too bad. What do you think? Uh, half asleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go then. It was all right. Uh, no, it wasn't too bad, but as you said, it's only the first day, so <sighs> only time will tell. It's going to go downhill or uphill from here. We'll see, guys. So thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in day two. Peace. Bye.